All right, this is what we're going to make today. It's a, uh, a noodle or a jug for catfishing. And you just make them out of a swim noodle. And these are two and a half inches in diameter. This is half inch uh, PVC pipe. Now, you'll see people online talking about um, making these out of half inch pipe and putting a five eighths inch uh, piece of steel in there. Well, a schedule 40 piece of PVC is not going to hold uh, a 5 8 uh, piece of steel in there. It's only going to hold, uh, it's not even really going to hold a half inch. So uh, this is some thin wall that I was able to find at Lowe's and that's what they were using and that's what they're talking about. But it's got a weight in it. Well, it says, I got one that's stubborn. Let me see, look. Okay, you see how I would pick up the one that was stubborn. Okay, so you put it in the in the lake like this with your weight at this end and your line hanging off this other end and it'll lay flat. And then when the fish grabs it, it'll go down like that and it'll stand up in the water and it'll let you know that you got a fish on there. So that's the, the usefulness of the weight. It also, people say it scares the fish and makes him try to run off and that gets him hooked. But uh, I'll talk about the tackle that I use uh, to do, uh, to hook it all up uh, when I start doing that. Now there's a guy out there that shows, has a really good video on making these and I'll link it at the end uh, because most of this came from him. It's, I looked at a whole bunch of different sites and so this is a little different than what he did but I'll link it at the end just as a courtesy to him because I don't want to steal his ideas. And so let's get started on cutting the pieces and getting it all made. I'm cutting the PVC pipe to 24 inches long and I've just put a piece of wood in here with a stop so that I can do it quickly. Now I'm getting ready to cut the uh, noodles and I cut those on the miter saw also and you just want to go kind of slow when you cut down through them. Uh, these need to be anywhere from 13 to 15 inches long and I'm doing like 13 and 3 quarters because my noodle is 15 and a half inches long and I can get four out of it that way. You can see it does a nice job. All right, so I slid the noodles onto the pipe and now I'm just going to put a uh, cap on each one. Just use some PVC cement. All right, now let's talk about weight for a second. This is 5 8 rebar. And this is what I put inside of each one of those. It will actually fit inside of the, of the thin walled half inch PVC pipe. And it's not the CPVC, it's just regular thin walled PVC pipe. So when you go to buy your, uh, your pipe, just go uh, Lowe's and Home Depot and those types of places. They also sell rod. They sell rebar, which will probably be cheaper, and then they sell also smooth rod. Now you're going to use a piece that's two and a half to three inches long. So just cut that. But, you know, that would be a whole lot of work if I didn't have a bandsaw, a metal cutting bandsaw to cut it for me. So you don't have to put these in there. If you don't, it's just not going to stand up once the... Uh, the fish triggers it. You'll just have to kind of keep your eye on them and see them moving. If a fish is pulling on it, it's going to be standing straight up. So initially it'll pop up, but if they drag it off somewhere, it'll lay back down. So it's nice to have this, but you know, if you don't let that stop you from doing the project is what I'm what I'm trying to say. Now I'm putting a uh, eye hook in to these, and I'm just screwing it in there. So I've got to drill a small little pilot hole. So you want to make a hole that's is uh, just as big as you can pop. I mean, you want it to be just as small as it can be and still be able to screw this in because you want a nice, tight, watertight seal. All right, so I'm going to put the hook eye in, the, in the, with the hole, and I want to put just a little bit of glue on there to um, help glue it in and seal it. get it started and then use something through the hole to help screw it in there. And just screw it up till the end of the threads and you're done. Just 
just like that. Okay, so this is the tackle that I'm using. This is a, a 4.0 kale hook that I've put on there with a snail knot. And I'm using, these are size 3 16 sinkers. And then I've got the, uh, the swivels I'm using are number threes. And they fit they fit that hook that hook eye that I've put in the end. And I glued these hook eyes in with PVC cement. And so now I've just got to take, I'm using a 50 pound, 50 pound Omniflex uh, high strength line, just monofilament. And then uh, I'm going to, so I've tied this on and then I'm going to stretch out. Um, it's kind of hot summertime, so I'm stretching out eight feet. Um, a lot of times people will just do six feet, but I'm going to stretch out eight feet of line. And trim that off. And then I just drop that sinker on there, like that. and then put this swivel on. I'm just tying this on here with a uni knot. Give that a little snip. Now, this step may be uh, unnecessary, but I'm gonna put a little stopper right here for my sinker. And it's just a bobber stopper knot. And that just keeps my weight. Off the bottom, you know, off, off my bait. Like that. Just keeps it up. It's suspended up. And you can slide that knot up and down a little bit if you want to. And then you just roll them up. Just like that. One other thing, you can get um, 15 of these in one bucket. Uh, the state limit for us is 20, so I got five there and five here. It's 20 per person. So be sure and check your regulations to see how many you can actually have with you. All right, nothing left but the fishing. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.